the reason you hate women. Let's get into it. Get your glasses up. Get your glasses up. A toast to the men. Brothers, for the last few years, maybe the last 10 years, I've been hearing and seeing a lot of negative rhetoric when it comes to the woman, particularly the black woman. I've heard it all. I've heard the black woman is shady. The black woman is lazy. Uh, the black woman is selfish. The black woman is, is uh, bipolar. I've heard it all. And I won't agree or disagree with those sentiments. But what I will say is the brother that really feels that way in general about all women or all black women is lost. He has no clue of what the woman is, what she's here to do, and what she's here to bring to his life. He has no clue. And he has no clue because he wasn't given the game. He was not given the game and he was sold a lie. He was sold a lie from his mom, who most likely was a single mother. Brothers, I remember when I was 15 or 16, well, I had to be between 14 and 16. I was dating this young lady and my mom had noticed that, my single black mother had noticed that this young lady was really digging me, was so-called in love with me. But she also noticed that I wasn't that seriously uh, involved and infatuated with this young lady. She noticed this young lady would do anything for me. And so one day she pulled me to the side and she said, hey, you gotta be careful how you deal with females. She said, when a female loves you, she'll do anything for you. But if you don't handle that responsibility properly, she can also destroy you. Now, my mom, I found out later, had also told this female that uh, not to take me so seriously. She was trying to warn this female to not get her heart broken, really. She, was, she told her, hey, one day my son's gonna make a good man a good husband. But right now, don't take him so seriously. Man, I'm 14, between 14 and 16. You know, that's, that's true. She shouldn't take me so seriously, right? I had a few things going on. Now, fast forward years later, I'm married. My first wife. Uh, the relationship is rocky at some point. The marriage is rocky. In the middle of this marriage, I find out or, or I have an idea, an inkling of an idea that she is not taking the birth control as scheduled. Now, she and I had a conversation and I thought we had an agreement, but looking back in hindsight, she never agreed. She just listened. And I mentioned this in the book, A Toast to the Men. The agreement was she would be on birth control and we would not have any more kids until we were ready, financially ready, and had done some traveling, had accomplished some things. Until then, we would not have another child. We already had one. Now, I started getting the feeling that she was not taking these birth control pills as scheduled. I think I even looked at a pack and the days were off or something, not confronting her about it. And she had some excuse that she could miss a few days and get back on schedule. Man, I didn't know. I took out a word, but something still didn't sit right with me. So I go to my mom, I hit my mom up and I said, hey, I don't think she's taking these pills correctly. And she's saying she could miss a few days, but get back on track. What's up with that? So I can't remember what she said, what my mom said in regards to, to the pills. But what she did say is, hey, either stop sleeping with her or use a condom. 
Now, man, when she said this, man, this was ludicrous to me. This, this was foreign. This made no sense. I was like, how do you use a condom with your wife or how do you stop having sex with your wife? And I thought this way because I had no idea about the female psyche. I had no clue. I was not given the game. Lo and behold, she ends up pregnant. We break up. Drama ensued back and forth, court, the whole nine, right? And this is the reason a lot of brothers hate women. They hate women because they were not given the game about women. My mom didn't give me the game about women. She showed, she gave me a little bit of game, but she didn't really go into detail and she did not personalize it, personalize it. And a lot of women, a lot of single women fall into this. Most single women fall into this where they're not giving the boys the real game. And when I say real game, they got to personalize the stories. They got to personalize the game, the knowledge, the nuggets of wisdom. They got to say, these are the tendencies of all women. These are my tendencies as a female. This is what I've done in the past. They got to break it down like that. They can't, they can't make it seem as though they are above the mess. They are above the debauchery. They can't, they can't make it seem that way. They got to personalize it. They got to let the sun, that young man know their darkness. Because we all got the darkness. We all have darkness. And so even your mom has darkness. Even your daughter has darkness. Your wife has darkness. They're not telling these boys that. They're making it, they're, they're excluding themselves from the BS, from the weakness, from the darkness. No, you got to personalize it and tell your story. Be transparent and tell the shady things you've done. Tell the conniving things you've done to men. You got to do that if you love your sons, if you want to save your sons from having baby mamas, from being in abusive relationships, from encountering divorce, you got to save your sons from that by telling them the truth, the raw truth. You got to tell your own dirt. And so what we like to do, as, especially as black men, we like to put our moms on a pedestal, which you should not do. Honor your mom, yes, but your mom is a female. I know you love your mom. There's some guy out there that knows your mom in a different way. It's facts. Facts, bro. There's some guy that believes your mom is shady. There's some guy that believes your mom is disloyal and a liar and a manipulator. This is facts. And I'm not saying this guy is your dad. There's other guys she dated, she's dated that she has no kids by. They know a different side of her. They have seen her darkness. And so you grow up with this false sense of what a woman is and what she's capable of doing. Now, I see a lot of single mothers, black women, saying they raised some good sons or they raised um, good men. They raised boys into men, which is a lie, which is a lie. Let me tell you something. Most times, man, what they did, they raised naive men. They've raised lost men. They've raised simps. And they raised men that were not ganged up about women. See, when you teach your son how to open doors for women, 
how to pull out chairs. Those are good things to teach a young boy. Those are great things to teach him. And then when you allow your young son to, to break leaves and mow lawns and scrap up his money to save his money so he can buy his mom a gift on, on her birthday, Valentine's, Mother's Day, Christmas, you know, or whenever. Listen, that's honorable. It's a great thing. But what he grows up doing is giving other women that same energy as he gives his mom, which is a mistake. See, with your mom, there's no sexual component to the relationship, right? There's no, uh, for most, most, most times, there's no jealous component, right? There's no trapping component most times. When you're dealing with a female outside of your mom, it's a whole different dynamic. But you go into that relationship gifting her, treating her like you would treat your mom. She's not your mom. You're going to deal with this other woman's dark side. Not just her light. You're going to deal with her dark side too. But your mom never told you about her own personal dark side. She didn't personalize it. Now, she maybe told you uh, to watch out for that young lady or this young lady or women in general, but she excluded herself from it. She excluded herself. So you never got to know the full essence of your mom, the dark and the light. And so you're expecting this, this woman to be loyal to you, to be respectful to you, to be loving to you like your mom. You're expecting her to be appreciative and to reciprocate the gifts given to her and the attention given to her like your mom would do, which is false. And that's why you end up bitter and heartbroken and angry and hateful towards women and toward, towards the black woman. Never put a woman on a pedestal, bros. Never. You got to see the woman for who she is. They all have darkness. Now, some darkness is stronger than others. And you can have different types of darkness. And women can have different characteristic flaws. You got to understand that. You have to understand that. And that's where you lose. You putting this woman on a pedestal just like you put your mom on a pedestal and you never had a full, accurate understanding of the female. Now, this knowledge, this wisdom about the female is written in many books. <laughs> well, hey, we can go into the Bible. We can go to other books by Shakespeare. We can go to uh, several books about the female psyche. You got to understand that, man. Females are selfish by nature. Man, when a female wants something, most times she's going to get it. And she's going to get it through femininity. Right? She's going to finesse you. See, with the man... When we want something, when we just have our minds made up, right? We get it through masculinity. That's how we get it. We get it through masculinity and by force. And so you can get into a lot of trouble like that. There's no feelings involved, right? You can get into a lot of trouble by forcing things and overexerting your masculinity. But a woman will finesse you through her femininity. And, you know, you can't go to jail for that. Um, can't get written up for that. 
She just finessed you. She finessed your heart. That's what it is, man. She finessed your heart. So this is where you got to pull emotion away from the relationship. You got to think logically. This is why in the book I say do not fall in love. Now, I have to make this clear. I'm not saying don't love the woman. I'm not saying don't love the black woman. Love her. Love her. But love is not a feeling. Love is an action. Love is a principle. And you're trying to love, love the woman from a feeling standpoint instead of a principle standpoint. Because when you love her from a principle standpoint, standpoint, you want what's for her best interest. So you can, it's no problem telling her no. It's no problem saying, no, nah, it's not time for that. Or no, you're not ready for that. Or we're not ready for that. It's no problem in saying, you know what? I know I t we agreed, or I thought we agreed to take this birth control until we're ready to have another child. But to be safe, let me protect myself because I don't want temptation and weakness to creep into her. Because like I said, when a woman decides she wants something, she will get it. There's nothing like a determined woman and she will finesse you through her femininity. Man, when you understand that, you can use that as a as a positive resource in your life. You, you guys can become a superpower when you have mastered your masculinity. And then that will create an environment where she's totally in her femininity. And man, when you guys come together as a unit, there's no stopping you. That is a powerful union. But when you are vibrating, you are living on a feminine frequency. And when I say feminine frequency, that means caving in, giving in to her every whim, to her every want, not thinking logically, not thinking principally. You're always going to fail. You're always going to end up hurt. And then when you encounter that kind of situation enough times, you start building up bitterness, anger, disdain for the woman, for the black woman. We got it all messed up, brothers. And it all started with your single black woman. Let me tell you, man, black men are the biggest tricks. Brothers, I've been around white men <clears throat> I'm talking about in general. It's not every person, but I've been around many white men, been around many Asians, been around many Hispanic Latin men. I've been around many black men. Black men are the biggest simps, bro. I'm telling you, black men in general are the biggest simps. And I played the simp role too. Have I ever played the simp role with a woman off the street or outside of my wife or anything like that? No. I've always had this player mentality on the street. But my first marriage, oh man, I played the simp role, bro. I did. And it all derives what I was fed from my mom uh, directly or subconsciously. And it, it wasn't good. And that's why you have to have a two-parent home. This is why. So you can get both uh, messages, you can see both viewpoints, and you can see how collisions can happen and how cal uh, uh, calibration can happen. You can see that. You can't see that from a single parent home. You can see your mom's, when your mom is in a committed relationship with your father in the same home, you get to see her dark side. You get to see how she responds when things don't go her way. You get to see your father's dark side. You have a more educated view of what it is to be in a relationship with the female. Your dad will consciously, literally give you the game, 
or you'll pick it up subconsciously because you're living in it. You're living under the roof with them. I'm telling you, man, in general, black men are butt hurt the most when it comes to women. And I'm telling you, the only way we're going to get back to order and to how it's supposed to be is going to start with us. It's going to start with us, brothers. We got to gotta get disciplined. Uh, look out for us first. Be about your business before you think about procreating, before you think about getting married. Be disciplined. Strap up or sustain. Abstain, I'm sorry. Abstain from sex. Period. Hey, I was married at the time and I didn't listen. I thought I thought my mom was talking crazy. But I would have listened. I know I would have listened if she if she had personalized it. If she had said, baby, I've done it before. When I was young, I was in love and I wanted his baby and I, I, I was determined to have it regardless. And hey, a baby was created. If she had personalized it and let me see her dark side, I would have listened. But what she did, she excluded herself because she didn't probably want me to see her in that light, right? But we gotta start keeping it real. This is the only way we're gonna succeed. The truth has to be told. Man, we got to be transparent with the truth. We gotta be straight up. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. As always, from me to you, love, peace.